There's another lion roaring in the distance, responding. Well, that was a great link. <laughs> the best link ever. <laughs> I don't know what to say really about that. That was fantastic. Thank you, Princess, for deciding to wake up, Tinio. My goodness. So there is another lion calling. I said to Sebastian a moment ago when he was putting on the infrared. That's why we're in black and white now too, in case you have just joined us and wondering what's going on. We've put the infrared lights on and he was staring into the distance. And first I said to Sebastian, I said, he's looking at something. And then I went, no, wait, hang on. He's listening to something. So obviously he must have heard that other lion, but we couldn't hear, I couldn't hear anything because I listened out, but you know, like we were talking about just a moment ago, there, hearing is unbelievable so that's obviously one of the other birmingham boys responding to his call so i suspect that the two of them will meet up but i think the other birmingham boy is going to have to come here and meet tenure because he doesn't look like he's going anywhere at the moment he even roared laying down but it was a good spot that he decided to roar in because his call would have traveled down into this drainage line which we're just on the edge at so i think it would have traveled even further amazing now i'm just listening to the guards on the radio they're trying to figure out where these lions all are but maybe that will mean we'll have some lions in the morning for the sunrise safari and hopefully more than one wouldn't it be great to see some more birmingham boys with the Nguuma pride again that would be absolutely spectacular and i don't think that we're asking for too much we've been very patient with the lions and I think if that male lion that's calling in the distant roars again, we might get another roar out of him. I can't believe our luck. Patience, hey, Sebastian, again. Yeah, Patience yeah. has proved to us that it is completely worth it. Wow, wonderful. And now an anticlimax that he's just going to sit here and sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Di, you said it was a little bit of a lazy roar. It was indeed, he was laying down, but it just shows you it doesn't matter what position a lion is, it can still let out that bellowing call, which sends shivers down your spine, not my spine. It gives me goosebumps. Now the whole vehicle was vibrating. That's another thing. The thing here is hearing it as you watch, and I'm so glad that you got to hear a roar. But what I hope is that any of you ever do get to come on a safari in Africa, I hope that you get to hear a lion do a big roar and you can feel it. It's incredible. <laughs> Jenny, you've said that you think that uh, Tinio was saying to the other lions to keep quiet. He's still sleeping. He's not ready to wake up just yet. Possibly. He definitely could have said that to him. He's completely he's closed his eyes again. He is not interested in anything else around him, so I'm really hoping that the lions down that way give another call and maybe he'll stand up and actually just show his sort of full power and full size um, as he raises his head to the sky and starts calling. That would be in an ideal world, but I think we just need to be grateful that we got a roar out of him because I didn't think we was going to get up and move at all, which is quite nice, quite, quite special. Ah... Lovely, Laurie, you said that your 10-month-old grandson is smiling. Well, there we go. He's already bit... Uh, no, the safari bug has already bitten him, even though he's never been here before. That's quite nice, actually. Anyone else have any interesting reactions from their pets at home? Not, or, or any kids, you know? What was their reaction to that big lion roar? You can let us know. You can hashtag safari live. I'd actually be quite interested to see what a cat or a dog must have done. <laughs> <laughs> Ruchi you say that Tinyo scared your puppy. Oh no, shame did it tuck its tail between its legs and cower. That's so that's so terrible. Now it's obviously an unfamiliar sound, a roar to most domesticated animals. They probably wouldn't have heard anything like that before unless you live near a zoo and perhaps they've got lions or you live on a game reserve. Lucky for your pets to live out in the bush. I think that must be one of the best lives. Now come on boy sit up for us oh there we go a nice yawn 
isn't he? He's a very vocal lioness. He likes to moan quite a bit. You <laughs> see him? <laughs> oh, it's so tiring. That's the voice that I imagine that Daniel speaks in. I don't know why I think he sounds like that. Now, Izzy, you said that your cat ran out of the room. It's a good thing, because this is a much bigger cat. And he looks miserable. He actually looks like he's had a big night out, and he's not quite ready to wake up just yet. Come on, one more big yawn. Open those eyes. You need an energy drink. Maybe he needs an energy drink. Just go for a run. That always helps. But now you can clearly see one of his key identifying features, that half moon in his right ear on the left-hand side of the screen. Very easy to see. See the direction that he's staring in now, sort of due north, is where those lines are calling from. I want to sit quietly and see if I can hear them again. No, I can just hear crickets making lots of noise. I suspect that is the direction that he is going to move in if he does decide to move, though. I'm sure he'll want to check up on whichever lions those are ca calling, whether it's the Torchwood Pride, because I know the Torchwood Pride was found further north near the Manuleti boundary. I don't know if they've managed to find them, Gohumas. They didn't find them this morning. No, they did find him this morning. I think they did find him this morning. I can't remember. The days are merging all into one now, and I can't remember what even happened yesterday. But look, I, yes, they're calling again. It's so far away that you won't be able to hear it. I think he might respond. Please respond one more time. Is he going to? That line has just finished calling now. <coughs> no, it doesn't seem like it. Those eyes are getting heavy again. Maybe he'll surprise us though. One more yawn. At least he's looking a lot more lively now. I said to Sebastian at one point, with the way we had the camera framed while we weren't live. If you'd posted a picture, you could cause quite a stir with it because it looked like he was just dead. Oh, there we go. And that is why I have the best job in the world. Me too. I don't think there is a job out there that can compare with what Sebastian and I do, what Tristan and Craig and the rest of the team, even the ladies in final control, who gets to sit in their office, let's put it in the director's perspective, and get to watch this amazing stuff all the time. It is very difficult to call what we do work. I'm not just saying this, I promise you. Because when I go on holiday, I still do safari holidays. Which I think is amazing. Seb? Yeah. Do you have to reach over for a half hour? <laughs> that was great. That was the best kind of lion sighting that you can honestly get. To have him first, fast asleep, staring up at the vultures, seeing those beautiful golden eyes. To him stretching, rolling over, eventually giving us a big yawn, showing us a beautiful portrait to ending off in a roar. I think asking him to go and have a sip of water might be asking too much. <laughs> Don't forget the darts. Oh no, Sebastian said I mustn't forget the darts. <laughs> We're not sitting downwind of him anymore.
we made that mistake too many times today. <laughs> right, so Tristan, after taking much time to getting to the hyena den, he's finally bumbled on over there. I think he might have a surprise for you. <laughs> 